and get this started. Oh, I love that little that little limb there that doesn't exist. That didn't actually happen, but you could you could feel it, you know. Well, this is uh, my first live stream, and uh, just had a fun idea. Just wanted to get some of my art out there. I have a really want to. So first and foremost, I want to say congratulations to that umbrella guy. Um, incredible work. Great job. You know, I just watched him go live on Ethan Van Skyver's show. And, you know, he, he, first of all, I'm a big fan of that umbrella guy. He works incredibly hard to stand up for people that don't have an avenue to do so. And so I was sketching this the other day. I really want to find a way. Maybe a variant cover, maybe just a page of fan art, maybe just something. Just I'll kind of mess around with this. Is, this is actually Pintel's RSVP pen on vellum paper. Yeah, I've got a few different copies that I've made with pencil on better paper. But this was really fun, really fun. Uh this pose you know this was in my mind this was every time that um someone gets doxxed or someone uh gets swatted you know um someone who didn't deserve the media uh, attacks or the um the outrage or the false fake outrage um you know i just really really respect that umbrella guy, so happy, couldn't be happier for him. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. It's good to see good guys winning. And um, yeah, he deserves all the good things. Kind of don't know how to get this to him. Don't know how to, you know, get a hold of him. So I'm gonna, I've been doing for a little while. I'm incredibly technologically um, dumb. So I'm gonna try to find a way. Now, I kind of want to do a really dark inking of this. I, it's gonna show up very well. This is insanely like fine line work. Um, I'm gonna try a few different ways to do this. That way, I get the best. You know, maybe do a variant cover, or something silly, just something to shoot his way. But really excited for um, the case of the littlest umbrella. I think it's gonna be a great thing. You know, on that note, everything I've backed. Um, from artists uh, that I've learned to grow fond of and respect uh, has paid off tremendously. And just, just got this yesterday, and I wanted to do an unboxing, but I couldn't even wait. Like, <laughs> I just love this thing. You know, I buy, I got back into comics about two years ago because of Comics Gate. And the funny thing about it is, I mean, this work just screams that the author loves what he's doing. And I've just been, I just almost finished up the Newt series um, with my son. And man, has it been fun. But this, this book, wow, what a tremendous, tremendous book. And it's funny because you, you back these Indiegogos. You don't expect anything special. You just get what you get. But, man, I mean, this feels... Look, there's Doug handwritten. Oh, dirty fingers all over this thing. This feels like a book for an anthology. I'm sure you got some inspiration from uh, Hellboy. Uh, but, man, this is just... I mean, comic book creators... You know, they can't afford to do stuff like this right now. Um, you know, this takes a huge endeavor. The comic industry sucks. <laughs> they don't believe in their in their employees enough to really go all out like this. And I, I mean, even even these details, I'm gonna frame this. And you know what? This I I can't I can't open this. I'm going these are trading cards. I cannot open these. I'm going to frame these. I'm just going to frame the book in a, in a nice frame that I can open the cover, a shadow box, and, and get it out and read to my children. I'm just so happy with this. I'm so happy with this. 
can't, can't recommend it enough. Um, on top of that, these, what a, what a little gift. That's so cool. Thank you, Doug. Thanks for your ministry, for your work. I, I can't thank you enough. I start, okay, I'm embarrassed about this, but I started to do some Bigfoot Bill fan art. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I've never been a great inker, and I wanted to practice just inking and playing around. And actually, I want to try out this. It's a little product placement, but I see so many people playing around with these, these Ohu markers. And man, they are really good for the price. Um, I don't know what you can do with them, to be honest. Um, I'm probably going to do a digital inking of this or coloring of this. And then I'm probably going to do a marker version. And the reason I'm going to do that is to show what you can do in you know, Illustrator or other art programs versus what you're able to do with just, I mean, just cheap markers that are, that happen to be good. Um, I can't wait. I'm going to play around with this. I might do something in the background, do some fun, but yeah. Oh, by the way, don't go online. Um, if you're a new artist, there's some incredible fan art for big foot bill and Man, it puts this to shame. It puts all my stuff to shame. And I was just blown away at what people are doing. Um, great, great artist. So I have one real random sketch, but I'm just bringing it out. Just This is my first practice attempt at the Ohuhu markers. And you know what? I'm going to come up with some fun prize. The first per I, you know, I don't, I know this is my first attempt to live stream. But the first person that figures out who this is a, um, a character of, um, not talking about the Pokemon. I mean, you, you, I'm going to give you a quick hint here. This is Banana Master, Coconut Master, I believe, Sushi Master, and uh, a little Mudbray that always gets his butt kicked. Um, <laughs> uh, barbecue Master. I did this kind of for my kids, but also just as a trial run. I don't know. This is what the Ohu markers are capable of, and I'm by no means good at markers. I mean, I'm a pencil and pen guy. I'm really looking to branch out into some inks and to some color. But, man, I was really impressed. I mean, they are smooth. They're smooth. And I'm not... I'm not shilling for them. What I'm trying to get at is just, you know, it's amazing what you can get at a good deal. So first person to guess who this is, um, uh, Gaming Master, if you can guess who this is the character of, I'm going to come up with a really fun prize um, for that individual. First one to guess it in the comment section. Well, so I think I've kind of got everything. So comments, let me know how I can prove the channel. Shout out to Sweetcast for his uh, Indiegogo campaign downcast. Shout out to that umbrella guy who I just checked on. I think he's almost at $15,000 for backing on his first day. And it's just, it's amazing. That's just amazing. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm going to back that. Got to back downcast. You know, got to support all these people. Um, you're getting content that you couldn't even dream of. Um, you can watch be created. And, you know, I've got, I've got a little sketch of the character I'm going to work on. Someone I'm going to, I'm going to create a little book myself. Um, don't know where to go with it. I've got a story for this one. I've got some other artwork. I'm thinking about doing, I've got a, uh, a, what goes bump in the night story that I'm dying to try out. Next few, next few videos are going to be probably sketching, coloring, you know, just putting pen to paper and watching the creative process. Um, also just want to try to get in some interviews, talk about people about their testimony. Uh, you know, if I could like uh, kind of dreamcast some things out there. I think I'd probably love, uh, probably a dream mine would be interview Doug, Mr. Doug to Naple. Um, get an interview in with uh, a few of my other 
heroes, celebrities, uh, small time celebrities that make big, big memories and been a huge part of my past. And, you know, there, there's some people out there that uh, I hope this show, you know, this, this isn't a good example of what the show will be, this channel, but I want ideally this channel to be um, basically a show where we can draw together, where we can sketch together, where we can grow as artists together, and where we can ultimately convince that umbrella guy to, to just, you know, to let me do a comic for him. Let me, let me get my work on that. You know, you need variant covers. We all know that, you know, you, you could, you could double your money from that first day. You just had a variant cover option drawn by the amazing, amazing work in progress. Um, that's what I'm going to leave that at now. I, I think this is going to be fun. We'll see how this goes, but we got a lot of things to cover, a lot of silly things to cover, but maybe some good things to cover. And, uh, if you, if you don't mind, I'd love some inspiration as to where to, what to do to what you guys would like to see done on this channel. You want to see inking? You want to see coloring? You want to see computer graphics? I, I haven't even begun to show you my work. I want to bring on some other artists, some other famous artists right now. But for the first part, man, just super, super excited starting playing around and getting to know a few people through YouTube and, you know, shit, saving some memories. So we'll see how it goes. I uh, wish you all a great night and I'll be praying for you. Continue to pray for me and have a great one. Till next time. Tug. I don't know. I don't know if you can see this. I got to work on my lighting, got to work on my setup, but Tug, he's coming for you, man. Don't deny him.